I saw another quick tip on some things that uh, questions have been asked and something that I've just learned. So there's a number of things I want to bring together. So this is a sub D surface. This is a nerve surface. The nerve surface is created by these two generations. And I'm going to pull these, these shapes out to this surface um, by using this surface. So the sub D is going to be pulled out by the nerve surface. A couple of other things while we go along. So I've got selection options turned on, which is a new feature in 2022. So when I pick CVs and I just work around here, you can see here there's a, a collection of CVs, some behind, some in front, but I can just box pick over those. And because I've got selections options on, it will only select the ones in front. So I can carry on working, pick around here, pick all these different parts. So I've selected those. I'm going to go into subdivision, subdivision, align surface. And then I'm going to pick this surface to align it to, or align to surface, pick this surface. You see they popped and move forward. And just to make sure you can see that, pick these CVs, move them. Let's put on the transform handle. So you can see that I can grab and move that. As I move this, you see that the CVs um, change. You know, another option actually in performance options. Uh, just needs turning on so I get that update when I, when I do the change. So you can see here, you can see that change as I move it, which is really great. I can move that single point on that curve and have that surface control it. Now, one of the questions I had from a customer wasn't related to all those things I've just shown. It was related to, well, how do I break the history and disconnect that from there? So if I go into the history viewer, construction history view, you see here I've got the history of the rail and I've got the history of the subdiv alignment and the customer was you know unsure so there's a couple of ways I can do it the main way I want to show is I want to pick the item and I say delete construction history that has cleared the history away so I can go and re-establish it okay so now when I move this CV and I move it over here you see no update happens okay so that's really great. I can disconnect it from within here and be sure. The other way to do it, if I just re-establish that, um, is let's pick those points again. And align to surface, pick that surface. Now it's aligned. So the other way is, in this case, let me just bring the history viewer up. Is it's here in the in the surface uh, the history viewer, so I can go in and I could say pick that sub D surface and say delete construction history. That's delete the construction history from there, and I've got just the rail. That means I can carry on. Now something I was made aware of earlier um, is if I just break the history with this, I'm going to get rid of these curves, and then we just do something that's a bit destructive, and we just detach along this edge, so we break it into two. Boat, if I go switching between my menus, I've got a surface here, and I've got a surface here. Okay. So now what I can do is I can actually do an alignment, something I didn't realize. Um, I can go in here and I can align that surface, and I can go in, let's do the pick point first. It's always easy to, to make the selection. Do a line to surface. Pick that surface. Oh, a line to surface down the bottom. A line to surface. So that now is picked. We go to next. I can pick maybe these points to a line to surface and say a line to surface. Pick this surface. Oh, a line to surface again. Missed that one. Say so next. Now when I pick this and I move it. Again, let's get the transform window on. I've got my marking menus on um, control and five, the default ones. Now that is separate to this one, so I can have two different control with two separate surfaces. Control Z to undo it. Pick this object, transform, and I can move those independently. Now, in that situation, how do I break them? This is a real key time to use Construction History Viewer because which one is picking what? Selecting on each individual one means I can really be clear about which one I'm going to delete. So I can delete the construction history on that. 
and then this plane is then free to move again in the background. So a number of different things, a few that uh, appeared on the fly when I was doing it, but a number of different things in there to help you. Selection options, the view, how you can break the history between um, the subdiv aligned to surface and the actual surface, a couple of different ways, and then how you can use multiple surfaces to align to a subdivision model.